In this hour, it's one of the deadliest fires in Dayton history. Five people are dead after an early morning fire in a vacant building on North Broadway. News Center 7's Xavier Hershevitz was there all morning on Wednesday as it happened, showing us live views of what was happening as firefighters fought that fire, and they worked very hard to get it out. He's live there again this morning with new details. Xavier? Letitia, Nick, this is truly a tragedy. I want to show you what's left of this vacant home after a massive fire truly destroyed it, forcing firefighters to call for an emergency demolition yesterday. Firefighters also made the gruesome discovery one body at a time that five people died in this fire. I want to show you video of the fire raging when we first arrived yesterday, just about 30 minutes after firefighters did. That fire was so strong, they were unable to search the building. It wasn't until after the fire was out and they were preparing for that emergency demolition that they were able to search through the rubble. The fire chief says this building has been vacant for years. The gas had been turned off for over a decade. Um, uh, we did find out after uh, arrival at the fire um, during the, the firefighting extinction process that um, there were squatters known to, to stay in that building, uh, up to 12, a total of 12. Um, so uh, that's why we made an aggressive search when we could. Fire investigators are still working this morning to determine what caused the fire, and the coroner's office is working to identify those five people that died. Live in Dayton this morning, Xavier Hershevitz, News Center 7.